is Natalie with 17 going on 7. Okay, so obviously I'm very stressed out right now and panicky. And that's kind of what 17 going on 7 is about. How many of you, by raising hands, would say on a daily basis or just generally feel stress in your life? That's what I thought most of you. This is pretty common. 7 out of 10 Americans feel exhibit physical signs of stress on a daily basis. And I think it's because we take ourselves too seriously. I come home on a daily basis stressed out because I have a project due, a speech, homework, extracurriculars. I'm an NHS officer now. I'm in mock trial. I've got a lot to do and very little time to do it. And on top of that, uh, my parents live an hour apart and expect me to be extremely involved in all four of my siblings' life. I don't have time for that, and I have to get a job and work and manage all of this together. It's a lot of stress, and I don't deal with it well because I take myself too seriously and I care way too much about all of this. And that's because I don't realize that at 17, I'm still a kid. I don't have to grow up, and I don't have to be an adult. And this is something my parents have taught me because they don't believe in being adults. Neither of my parents take themselves seriously. My dad sells packaging for cars because he wanted a job where he could set his own hours because he refuses to get up early. So he got that job so he could sleep in. And my mom works for AT&T because she wanted free phone service. You know, my parents don't really believe in being adults or, you know, growing up. And that's something I really believe is helpful because I don't manage stress well. I panic and I freak out. And so my mom has taught me to deal with it by some nights, I don't have to do my homework. I come home and it doesn't matter because school, you know, 10 years from now, if I did one English assignment or did one math assignment, isn't going to matter. So I'll come home and it's a no real world night. We make milkshakes for dinner, order pizza, and watch crappy TV and movies all night. And honestly, that's the best part of my week if we get to do that because I'm still a kid. School, jobs, extracurriculars, that doesn't matter in the, in the grand scheme of things. My happiness does. Growing up, all my favorite memories are from when I was a little kid. And I still want to be a little kid. Going to my grandparents' lake and pushing my cousins off rafts because they're annoying or because I don't like them. That was fun to me, and it still is. Because I don't care if I'm 45, 72, or 16. I just want to be a kid. Being a kid is way more fun, and it's a lot easier. I have grown up in a family of four kids, and I look at my five-year-old brother every day and think his life is the best. Complaining about naps when I was little, biggest mistake of my life. Because if I could get a nap back on a daily schedule, I'd probably cry with joy, to be honest. And when I get to embrace those moments where I don't have to focus on school or focus on everything else I have to do, I'm happiest, and I believe other people would be happiest when they do these kinds of things. Because everyone's favorite memories are from when they were little. Good family moments or just times when nothing stressed you out. Because I don't think any of us have met a five-year-old who is worried about things. A five-year-old just cares if they don't have to share and get their naps and snacks on, on schedule. And I think that's kind of a life we should lead. We have to be serious and focus and do things at point in times, but we don't have to do it all the time. And being a kid is more important than stressing out and bothering yourselves at all hours of the day. So, yeah, thanks.